Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And today, we're gonna be going to the Milk Bar, but we have to wait for it to be 10 p.m. And you need to be wearing the Romani's Mask to be allowed entry. Ah, you are a member. Please, come in. But yeah, today we're gonna be just doing some side quests and grabbing a whole bunch of masks, basically. First guy I wanna to talk to is this guy. Hello? Yeah. We are scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a sound check though, I'd just like to see what it would be like here. Hey you, could you help me with the performance? Okay, you play the ocarina right, stand in the center spotlight. Okay, play your ocarina like this. Okay, that feels good. What feels good is that wretched senseless racket. Okay, give me a sec. Okay, now we come down. And we need to use all of our transformation masks. Okay, I'll take that off. Yeah, I'll help him. And because we play the Deku Pipes, we'll go to the front left spotlight. And these two are just gonna repeat the same dialogue over and over again. So, enjoy that. So now that with the Goron, we'll help him out by going to the... The real last spotlight, okay. So the biggest character has the smallest space. Okay, that feels good. And now we need just to do the Zora one, then we are finished. Okay. We need the pink spotlight. Bravo, that was the best. The, the melody. The melody brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. It's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard that song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd meet the singers of that song. The one you had heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer, who's also named Lulu. So a daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please, take my mask. Okay, that is the Circus Leader's mask. 
not terribly difficult to obtain. What is strange though is that my emulator is now running at exactly 60 FPS, which has never happened before, which is why the audio is crackling so much, and I don't know how to fix that. So yay. Alright, I fixed it. And now we have to leave. So let us head towards the canyon. Even though that's actually not where we're going at all. Uh, we're actually heading to Milk Road, so we're going to need a Pono. Yeah, I just realized that I'd much rather have a Pono song than the Song of Soaring. Because why the heck not, man? A Pono, my one true love. Okay, now we need to head this way. Because we have to do some races. And I don't know if I touched on this before, but that red dot on the map um, just then was a huge bird that uh, when you if you kill it, it drops a lot of money. But if you don't kill it, it takes your shield, I believe. I'm not sure if it's your sword or your shield. Either way, it's not good. Okay, here we are at the Gorman Racetrack. And I am just going to play the song of double time because we need it to be... the next day. And for whatever reason, that doesn't work here. And for the record, I hate this next mini game that we're gonna have to do. But it's actually required to finish the story. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse like pathetic would gallop if you pushed forward? Or would it run faster if you pressed A? This guy's funny, why don't you give him 10? Okay. Yep, I'm gonna race him and I'm gonna beat him. The trick is to just stay on the inside. You can stay just behind him, it doesn't really matter. As long as you don't use all your carrots up too early. See, see what I'm doing now? I'm letting him get in front of me. And now, now that they're on the outside, you gotta sprint. Uh, and just try and stay around them. But we should get our carrots back now. Yes, this is when we needed them. Make that jump. Start getting some back. You wanna avoid those at all possible. Okay, now start sprinting towards the finish. And we should make that easy. Not a problem. I can't believe we lost! Me bro, I wonder if we can give that to this guy. We gotta give him something. Well, he's a kid, so... What could he do with it? It should be fine. The wandering ninja spirits who appear at a con and once wore this. Why... why do you have... Okay, that's suspicious. Um, 
What else do we have to do? We need one more mask. And that's it. Dang. That's pretty good. That's a lot better than I thought we'd do. So, we need to head back to Clockdown. And we need to fast forward to the night of the third day, I believe. But first we need to go to the bank. So guys, I know this is the night of the first day and it's 10pm and we're north clock town and you're probably wondering, what are we doing? But in order for us to actually get that item, the mask, from the curiosity shop on the third, uh, third night, um, we need to save the old lady from the thief again. Which I kind of forgot about. Oops. Oh well, that's not too bad. He's just hiding away there. I wonder if I can hit him with a bow and arrow. I've never tried- oh, I don't have any arrows. Okay, I was gonna straight up and go and try it, but oh well. I was come running in from here. Punch him in the face as a Goron. That would be fun. Rough him up a bit. I would love to see a Goron as a bouncer in a club in one... In, like... If they make a future Zelda game where there's clubs, like, above and beyond the milk bar... Actually, no, it would, wouldn't even have to be above and beyond. You could just have the milk bar and have a Goron be the bouncer and that would that would complete me. That would be the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I would appreciate that so much. Alright, now the old lady should start coming. It's almost 12 o'clock. So, let us get in position. Of about here. She's gonna come through there. And we're just gonna stay here like this. Sir. Oh, that was so difficult. So, so difficult. <laughs> Okay, so now that we've saved her, we need to go deposit our 500 rupees again, and head to the th night of the third day, outside the curiosity shop. And yeah, 500 dollars is a uh, reasonable sum of money. I would like to earn that much in a week. But I get below minimum wage, so it's alright. Okay, let's just grab... Well, what's the point in letting you get 900 if 500 is the most you can... Okay, that's fine. I forgot there was a 4 rupee penalty, but that's, that's fine. Let's just fast forward. It's 10 p.m. Our wallet is full, and our mouth is dry from anticipation. As we entered the curiosity shop, on the final night, we saw that there was a really freaking weird looking mask. <laughs> yep. It's a pretty freaky mask. I like it, we're gonna check the bargain. And we're gonna buy it. Literally the only reason you need an adult wallet to buy this mask and all you get it from it's two pieces of heart so it doesn't really have any story merit yeah let's sell my ocarina um what can i sell oh, i can't sell anything take care buddy you too man all right now that we have extended our uh, mask collection we have a solid one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. 
Yep. That's pretty cool. I'm just seeing if I know where they all are. Yes. We'll be getting two more before we fight the next temple boss. Okay. I don't think I've actually ever noticed anyone ask about my parents before in this game, but I just did. That was odd. But now we're gonna go get a, um, our statue in Akana Canyon, so we're gonna head that way. Is anyone else keen to play Twilight Princess HD in about two months time? Because I know I sure as heck am. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but Twilight Princess is without a doubt my favorite Zelda game. I don't know, there's just something about it that I really... I can tell you what it is, it's the atmosphere straight away. But yeah, I just really enjoy it. Okay. So I just ran past the Kana Canyon, accidentally. Got a little bit slap happy there. That's alright. I am trying to run through to see if I can get arrows, but that's not happening anytime soon, so we may as well just continue. Now, I will warn you before we do enter Akana Canyon, there is a lot of content to do up here. And we need to stop. <laughs> We're in the last six minutes. I like that. Yeah, okay, what am I doing in a place like this? Well,. To progress, we need to wear a specific mask. That is the Garrow's mask, wherever I have that. There. You'll notice that all of the people that are dead will be down there. It's just a heads up. We're gonna need our hookshot as well. That's a nice mask you're wearing. That is the mask of the leader of the ninjas who once spied on the hilltop castle with the bloodstained history. With that, you may be able to call out their spirits that even now are still wandering. Perhaps you may be able to save the souls that wander beyond here. Uh, alright. If that isn't one of the weirdest conversations I've ever had in a video game, I don't know what is. So yes, yeah, so we're just gonna journey through the kind of can It doesn't matter if we get- actually, yes it does. It does matter if we get jinxed. Cause then I can't hit the owl statue, so as long as it wears off within five minutes, I'll be fine. And if you haven't noticed, Akana Canyon is a pretty bleak looking place. I, got, I heard a ring sound. You've been jinxed. What a surprise. Wait, is that all? I'm just gonna head around. There's really nothing for us to do at the moment, but we are looking... We are looking for, um... Some... Arrows. Which you can't seem to find, but that's fine. I mean, we have a whole four minutes before the world ends to get out of the water, so we shall be fine.
Because, yeah, we can't actually reach that. We're meant to be over there. But you're meant to have ice arrows for that. So what I think I'm going to do is end off the episode here. And in this next episode, we'll start off fresh from exactly where we are. See you then. Bye.